Hi guys and welcome back to our let's play of Divinity Original Sin 2. Um, we are still on the way to the Black Pits. Um, yeah, who's that guy? Garrett. Isn't that um, the guy from from the ship? Looks like it. Where does this go? Nowhere. This may be some nice loot or something like that. Supply kit. Simple canvas pouch used for holding small trinkets, coins and herbs. Wow. 1500? Unidentified wand. Where is this supply kit? Here. Supply kit. 1800. What is in here? Blade helmet, water arrow, and a nice ring. Ooh, nice. 1500 the ring, and 300 the helmet. Magic armor, grand skill earthquake. Nice. Uh, yeah. Don't mind if I do. What's he doing? Gareth toils in monotony. Not to the mounts of dirt, what's going on? Ask if he's alright, it's not like him to be so sullen. Remark on the graves Gareth fills. A deserved fate, surely? Gareth freezes, then turns slowly towards you. His breaths are steady, his voice a monotone. I'm digging my murdered parents' graves. I'd ask that you show your respect. Gareth moves to continue his task, but his cadence falters. He pauses, silence hangs, begging to be broken. Apologize, you had no idea. Tell him to keep steady, he's no stranger to that after all. He nods. At least, you think he nods. His head moves so slowly, so subtly, that you can't be sure. You speak truth. I've seen Seeker's blood seeping into the sand. I waded through corpses on the deck of the Lady Vengeance. But when the lifeless eyes looking back at you are your own mother's, I just didn't know. I didn't know what darkness lied beyond pain. Now, well, now I do. Um, wonder if pets. would have done this. Such helpful tools they are too. The abominations do the dirty work, and the whites keep their robes clean. Convenient. They're still there, spreading their rancid smell through the house. Paladins came to clean up the mess. In the name of Lucian, they say, and they seem to believe it. Gareth shies away from you. His eyes pass over the half-filled graves, and he takes a shuddering breath. I'm, I'm the one who was prayed. An endless litany. How many pleas does it take? How many tears do I have to shed? How much must I lose for the gods to listen? Gareth forcefully exhales and looks past you to the nearby house. You fear he might snap the shovel's handle in two. Ancient paladins, who are they? Say that Lucian might be gone, but you are still here for him, the seekers too. Mirror his anger, it's time for revenge. Level with him, he needs to stop waiting for the dead divine to solve his problems. Tell him his rage is understandable, but he needs to get control of himself. I've got no use for empty platitudes. Not from some whinging wolf chosen as the seven special pet. What the hell? You swear you hear Gareth's pulse, galloping faster than a saddled mount. You've never heard such a thing before, but you suspect Gareth's heart is close to tearing. If you want to help, then you find the craven white that ordered their slaughter. Anyone that stands between you and truth, no matter the flag they fly or creed they follow, make them bleed! Look into his eyes, he's descending into madness, he must let his anger go. Shake your head, is this what his parents would want, for him to succumb to unbridled rage? Not, you're in his... You're in this together, no matter what. 
Wash your hands of this entire affair. Failed. You would think to lecture me on madness! His hand moves from his shovel to his sword. He wipes his forefinger along the blade, opening a bloody gash. He stares at the wound, then wipes the blood across his glistening forehead. Do it! Or don't! First I lay my past to rest, then I see justice done! Okay. That creature. It's not Donna. Not anymore. It's the Magister's property. Let them handle it. Besides, what's the alternative? Guard this door forever? Feed them like pets? Get yourself together, man. Um, this seems to be going to be a fight, so a little save. Let's see what they have to say. When I save, the game starts stuttering. The two paladins Gareth mentioned are arguing in front of the door to the modest farmstead. As they notice your arrival, they stop talking and look at you quizzically. Ask them what's going on here, stride up and tell them to move aside so you can enter the house. Leave them to their argument. We're guarding this house. Wise to stay well back. There's a bunch of silent monks inside who've tasted blood today. Already killed in there, so they did. They didn't kill anybody. The magisters who controlled them did. You know Donna, she wouldn't hurt a fly. Not until they turned her. But they did turn her. And now she's not Donna anymore. Get it through your head. The poor creature should be put down. <laughs> no, wait! Surely, maybe, maybe someday they can be fixed, when all this source nonsense is over. The other paladin rolls his eyes and shakes his head as he turns to face you. In any event, it's our business, not yours. You just stay well away from the door and you'll be perfectly safe. Tell them not to worry, you'll take care of the silent monks. Stride up and tell them to move aside so you can enter the house. You can't do that. These... What? They were people who were loved. It's not right to butcher them like cattle. Tell him to trust you, silent monks aren't people anymore, they're puppets. Tell him to think about it. What would Donna wish for? Um, memory, intelligence. Intelligence. Failed. Back off, man! Can't you see he's upset enough about Donna without all this? I'm going in. Back off. Back off. You've had warning after warning no more. Try to talk your way out of the situation. Claim that you mistook it for an item of your own briefly. Did it remind you of someone you once knew you just wanted to reminiscence? Say you would expect someone of the same race to be a little more forgiving. I've heard all of it, you go surf up that ridiculous story. He scolds and braces himself for a fight. Okay. Okay. You wanted it like it like this. Ooh, they are pretty tough. And the normal shot. Do this one on him. And now petrifying touch. And then 
change our turn. Ifin, attack this guy. Put him down. Glory is mine. You attack this guy. And again. Flurry. And a normal attack. To your shield throw. One down. And now uh, just encourage up oh, and your turn. Okay. If I loot these guys, anything good? No. Yeah. Oh, nice. And the farmhouse key. Okay. So, let's do a hard save. Mm. Yeah, let's do a hard save. And let's try getting in here and killing all these weird guys. The lumpen silent monk stands like a pillar of decaying flesh. So still it seems he is not even breathing. Ah, oh, he's coming too. The corners of Garrus' mouth slant upwards. So too do his eyebrows. They still live. If you cannot see them slain, then I will. Bow your head. Is Hollow Vengeance really what he wants? Is this the person he wants to be? Tell him for... Tell him his form of justice is simply revenge. He brings shame to the Seekers. Stay his plate, you will take care of the monks. Without your approval, you wouldn't dream of standing in the way of justice. Ah. Failed again. Words. Just words with you. Call it what you want. I sure as hell don't need your blessing. <sighs> I pray that you suffer. I pray that you burn. Okay. You deserve only pain. We will get some nice loot out of this, even if the situation is not very nice. I handled this pretty poorly, but all my persuasions failed. I don't know what Ifen has in terms of persuasion skills, but whatever it is, it failed. Toy sword, toy shield, sweeper. I will know the truth behind this. Son against father. Orc spoon. Book. Empty honey jar. Lork. This again. Ah. Lork. Oh. Yes. Letter. Not a log of a log book, it's a log for the wood stove. So it's probably not the best thing to. Origins of loot. Bad thing to loot. But. Right. Broken loot. Nothing. Anything of good. Here's some stuff, but just nothing. 
jewelry box, broken bottle, some cash, some stuff, pen, try big lock. Let's see this letter we got. This one. I've been stationed with the most amazing guy. Rihard is his name. He's just perfect. Everything I've ever hoped for. We're on a mission now to negotiate with some magisters regarding their views on sorcerers. You know me. It boils my blood to argue for basic rights with those tyrants. Rihard. And I had a long conversation about it in the other night, and we are like two peer peace in a pod with our wife views. I finally found the perfect person. I'll be sending this letter after our sortie, and we'll write another one if, when, I have more news to st to share about Dehart. Until then, Donna. Okay. Was Jay Hart one of these guys? Paladin Jay Hart, yeah it was. Okay, that's why he was so troubled. Let's talk to this guy again. Gareth is a tempest. He yanks open dresser drawers, then slams them shut. He opens books, then violently tosses them to the floor. Don't just stand there, look! Ask what you're supposed to be those, looking for. Those atrocities don't act on their own. You know this as well as anyone. Someone had to give the order. And they'll have left some sign, some clue telling us who they are. They always do. The Whites are so proud of their cruelty, so satisfied with themselves. Offer to give him a hand? Gareth grunts and returns to his friends. Hmm. Okay, so we should be searching for something. Spinning wheel, sigil, a spoon, fork, knife, one teddy bear. Hmm, I don't find anything. There's on something like that. Was still nothing broken. I don't know. Who in the hell did this? I just heard someone, someone talking. Oh, run guide, wooden pitchfork. I find something? Left something behind. What did I find in here? Origins of Lucian, a log, drop, volume 5, son against father, farmhouse key. Till he fell. 
That recommends landmarks including blah blah blah. Son against father, dead in the flames. What have you been to me these years? I am your father. You made silent all my life. I stay silent no more. I am no Alexander. Identify? Magic male hood. Music instrument, drop item. Hmm. What are we looking for? Toy shield, toy stuff. Something here, no, not really. Sickle. All this stuff. What's that? Broken bottle. In the fire there's nothing. Hmm. I don't see anything that would give us clues about who did this. Didn't loot this one yet. It's empty. Stand this up? No, we can't. Maybe here, wait. Come here. This looks suspicious. Everything here on a, a pile. That there, that up there. I will know the truth behind this. Out here, maybe? Doesn't look like it. Hmm. Where is he? Here he is. Tell me you found something. Are you still looking and step away? Hmm. Okay, maybe look outside. Broken loot. I found some stuff over here, but I don't suppose that's it. Here's a cross. I can't, I can't find anything. Weird. I would suppose this wouldn't be that hard. Empty paladins. What did they have on them? else can I move? I can move this.
Maybe it's in that jewelry box. Maybe behind this painting. I, I will move this. No. Behind this. I move this. Yeah, I can. Nothing there. Weird. Let's get here. Yes, I can move. Let's move this here. This here. This aside. Can't you move this? No. Yeah, the only idea I have is like um, a jewelry, jewelry, jewelry box. Or maybe in the stove? Is there something in there? Or oh, nothing in there? Jewelry. Put this here and attack it. Silver glass, the healing potion, that's it. What the hell? Yeah, I can find no clues, nothing. Do you what know can anything? I do for you? In the meantime, though, let us continue our search for a dreamer. The search in Fort Joy proved to be less than fruitful. Okay. Yeah, I can't fi find anything. Fork, knife, fork, sigil, wood chip, stove, spinning wheel. Horn, teddy bear. Knife, dagger. Stove. Over here. Nothing here. Yeah, I don't know. I would like to help him, but I can't see anything. Weird. Okay. Let's keep going towards the black pits. So, uh, right ahead. Cellar hatch. Cellar hatch. Where is this? Up here? Ah, this is this other house. Oh, my weapon is almost broken. Repair? Nice. Hmm. Let's try going to the black pits. We will have to come here later. I couldn't find any clues, I don't know. Dead Manchester. Maybe this is the clue? This Manchester didn't die by a sword anyway. Something's afoot here. Okay, oh yeah. Here are the... 
avoid walking. And that's where it goes to the black pits. Okay. So, that's probably what we're going to do next time. But for now... Ooh, wait, let's see, how do we get here? Um, you? Over here? You have teleportation? No, Fane has teleportation, no? Oh. Do you have teleportation? No. Hmm. Okay, it must be on an item. But here seems to be a nice chest. Is a scarecrow? Burning? Okay. Um, yeah, this is where we will come back next time. Because it's time to end our episode for today. Um, hope you guys enjoyed it. I will still try to help Garrett out a little bit. If I can find something. I will loot this chest and then probably we'll try going into the black pits. To see if we can handle it. Because the other side it was really hard with those assassins. And... I don't know if the whole side here of the map will be that hard. Maybe we will have to go to the other side of uh, Riverwood and first level up a little bit more, but we will see you next time. Bye guys, thanks for watching and be back soon.